With the year of 2018 coming to a close, there is one thing we must do, which is giving out our awards for the 2018 Formula 1 season, which you guys have voted on. Who was the best driver in 2018? What was the best overtake and what was the best race? The only way to find out is in this video. So let's get straight into it and the first award is Best Driver. Now for me the best driver of 2018 has to be Lewis Hamilton because he was just so so good. Especially in the second half of the season in his qualifying and race performances. And is now a 5 time Drivers World Champion. So for me it has to be Lewis Hamilton but also you guys have chosen Hamilton. To be honest I don't think it was really a contest. I don't think anyone this season could have beaten him. In second place though, you guys have gone for Max Verstappen. And I have to agree because since the Canadian Grand Prix, Max has been one of the best drivers on the grid. And was immensely fast and put in some amazing performances. And in third place, you guys have gone with Charles Leclerc. And I'm afraid I do have to disagree for one reason. Compared to Vettel, Raikkonen and Ricciardo, we can't compare Leclerc to those drivers because the Sauber car was just not fast enough. And I don't think honestly you can compare them. Because of the clear performance difference between the Red Bull, Ferrari and the Sauber. But no matter, that's what you guys have gone for, so Charles Leclerc is third. Now let's get into the best performance by any driver this season. Now for me it's Lewis Hamilton in Singapore. One, of course, because of that amazing qualifying lap and the race he put in. That's one of the best race weekends that Lewis Hamilton has ever had. And in my opinion, that is the best driver performance. But you guys instead voted for Kimi Raikkonen at Kota. And even though I do disagree, I completely understand why. One, to keep Lewis Hamilton behind him in the first stint and then to keep Max Verstappen and Hamilton behind at the end of that Grand Prix. And of course, with it being his first win in five years, I don't think it's that big of a surprise. And I know a lot of you are fans of the Iceman. But then in joint second is Pierre Gasly's performance in Bahrain alongside Lewis Hamilton's in Singapore. And even though I do have my doubts about Pierre Gasly, I have to admit his performance in Bahrain was incredible. Because you just have to be doing something incredible to put a Toro Rosso in P4. And it was a great performance by the man heading to Red Bull for 2019. Now though, let's get on to the best race of 2018. Now you guys voted for the US Grand Prix. Now even though I went for a different race as the best race of 2018, I'm not surprised you guys voted for this. Because it was at least one of the best races of the entire season. The reason it was so good was because of that monumental scrap for the win of the Grand Prix. Between Kimi Raikkonen, Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton in three different cars. And I remember during the race watch long, the end of that race was just so tense. In those final laps, you did not know what was going to happen. And the battle at the end of the race between Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen was also great. In second place, you guys went for Brazil. And this is actually my personal best race of 2018. Because the fight in the top six between the top three teams was so, so good. With Max Verstappen passing Sebastian Vettel, Kimi Raikkonen, Valtteri Bottas and Lewis Hamilton. Ricardo also making his way past Vettel and Bottas and the battle between Kimi Raikkonen and Valtteri Bottas. It went on from lap one until lap 71. That is just what you want in Grand Prix racing. Drivers pushing from the first lap until the very last lap. And also during that race watch along I enjoyed it so so much. So for me that has to be my personal best but you guys have gone for it in second. And in third you guys went for Baku. Now in my personal opinion there were better races this season. For example the race at Silverstone and Monza and even Bahrain in Austria. But I do see why you guys vote for this because the chaos in that race at the start and the end was so mega. With Vettel going off the track, Perez passing Vettel and Charles Leclerc moving his way through the field. And then Valtteri Bottas having his late tyre failure. And this also includes that battle between the two Red Bull drivers and also the two Renault drivers. There is no doubt it was very exciting. But personally I think there were better races. 
Now let's get on to the worst race of the season. Now in my opinion, and also most of you guys' opinion, it is Canada. The reason for me it's Canada is because one, nothing really happened. And also because normally Canada is one of the most, if not the most, exciting race of any season. You always expect chaos at the Canadian Grand Prix, but this year there was nothing. It was just so, so disappointing. And then in second place, you guys went for Spain. Again, not a surprise, as nothing really did happen. There were a couple of on-track battles, but again, it was quite a mediocre Grand Prix. And also in a joint second place was Monaco. Now I know for my good friend and podcast guest as always, Niblo, this wasn't a boring race. But for us neutrals, it wasn't that interesting. As again, there was nothing really going on. It was another procession around the streets of Monte Carlo. So those are your worst races. And now finally, let's get on to the best overtake of 2018. Now you guys have voted for Daniel Ricciardo's move on Valtteri Bottas in Shanghai as the best overtake. I do disagree with that but I'll get onto that in a moment. But Ricciardo's move on Bottas has to be one of the best. Because of just how daring and brave he was throwing it down the inside at that corner. As there was a cigarette paper if that separating those two cars. But Ricciardo made it work and won that Grand Prix. In second place, and my personal best, is Sebastian Vettel's on Valtteri Bottas at Silverstone. Now the reason it's my best of 2018 is because it was so surprising. And we don't really see those kind of overtakes into that corner. It's normally a place where you set up to overtake or you get past very easily. Instead, very aggressively and bravely, Vettel dived down the inside of Bottas. So that is, for me, my personal best overtake of the season. And then you guys in third place went for Max Verstappen on Kimi Raikkonen at the same race. And we just have to talk about how great this was. At the end of the first sector, Kimi Raikkonen just about went down the inside of Max Verstappen. But then Verstappen, brilliantly at Luffield, went right round the outside. It was an incredible move. And I feel as though from a lot of people it's quite underrated. As to do that to such a great driver in Kimi Raikkonen is very difficult. But that is it for the awards of the 2018 Formula 1 season. A season which I think compared to 2017 was a lot better. As there was a lot closer and better racing especially between the top three teams. And I think this was the best season we've had in the sport since 2012. And if that is the case then this has to be a good season. But hopefully we can see the drivers putting in some great overtakes in some great races in 2019. But anyway guys, that has been it for this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Don't forget I'll be back tomorrow with my face reveal. As well, don't forget to join our Discord server, link below in the description, also with my Twitter and my website. Comment down below what you thought of this video and what did you think of the results of these awards. Please comment down below what you think about those topics and until next time it's been me Chazzer HD, goodbye.